Let's assume we now have all the information that's needed to complete the part document and we also have the time so we can actually post it. And uh, to show this, um, let's open the account receivable. And let's execute the post part journal entries app. Let's just complete the values to identify our document. Of course, the document number and the fiscal year. Let's click continue. And of course, the um, application will just bring back all the data that has been uh, assigned and saved in the part document. And we just need to complete, for example, well, the yield account for revenue. We will also enter just 6,600 in the amount in document currency. And let's look for the profit center. We will assign this revenue to um, profit center T-PCA15. Now, we should be careful because our first um, uh, action might be just to do, our impulse might be just to click here and, and come here and click save park document. But if we click that, the actually the, all the data will get saved uh, as a park uh, document. But again, we, it wouldn't be posted, so we wouldn't have the information available in the financial statements, which is not what we want. So we want to come all the way to the top uh, and here, uh, we have the post icon. So let's just click on that one. Of course, well, let's just uh, acknowledge the um, warning message. We will just hit enter in our keyboard to acknowledge that one. And now the message is the one that we're used to. It's just saying that this document has now been posted in our company code, which of course that just means that the a consequence can now be seen in the financial statements because the general ledger accounts have been posted correctly and uh, well, we have finished with this uh, document. So we can just click, uh, well, here continue and we can just uh, close the app. With this, uh, we're just finishing the lesson and of course, as always, we just want to say thank you for all the attention for our trainings.